Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for the monthly show us your sheet load video. I hope you'll stick around and see what wonderful creations came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I am always excited for the end of the month and the show us your sheet load video. Today you're going to see cards based upon sheet load of card sketches and cards sent in just because. Now if you ever want to show us your sheet load or send me a card just because, my P.O. box is always at the bottom of the description box. I also have a show us your sheet load guidelines video linked down there that will tell you how you can send in your card or if you want to share a video here on YouTube or over on Instagram how to do that as well. Now speaking of YouTube and Instagram, I will have the links to the November 2021 cards by subscribers both to YouTube and Instagram in the description box. I hope once you're done with this video you'll go check out and see what others have been creating. Here in just a second I'll start sharing photos of what was in each envelope and telling you who sent it in. And because I do have quite a few envelopes to get to, let's go ahead and get started. First up is some mail I got from my crafty Irish friends, Rita and Trish. They sent in an envelope with the two white packages together. And then I got this postcard separately with a note on the back. They got together recently in Westport where the postcard was from and did a little crafting together. I thought this was such an awesome idea and I love just getting the little snapshot of where they're from with a little note. If you live in an area where you have postcards, I would love for you to send me one. I'm definitely going to find a nice place to start keeping these. Rita and Trish must have already known that I was going to love that postcard because not only did I get the one from them together, but in each of their packages I got at least another one. You'll see here on screen now my package from Rita, which contains some beautiful examples of different November sheet loads of cards and the two postcards in the upper left. And Trish knows I love a good rainbow, so she chose this rainbow of sheep postcard to send me. There is a lovely note on back bringing up the theater card she made me last month featuring Hamilton. If you haven't seen last month's show us your sheet load to see the card she made, it is amazing. So I will link that in the description box below so you can check it out. But Trish has also sent in many lovely cards using various November sheet loads from over the years. Thank you so much Rita and Trish for continuing to send in your beautiful cards and share your notes with me. I hope you get to craft together a lot more. This next card is from Carmen B. of Colorado, and she used November 2021 for her card. I love the papers and all of those little die cuts that she has used behind her sentiment piece. Now I have a special request for you. Carmen is one of my channel members, and during the recent channel member live, she mentioned how she had a goal to get to 100 subscribers so she could have a custom URL. I am hoping, and right now as of time of voicing this over, she is at 95. I am hoping that we can help her out and get her up over that 100 mark. I will have her channel linked in the description box below, and I would love for you to go over there, see some of her videos, and then subscribe if you are inspired. And while we're speaking about channel goals, I have one of my own. Yes, I am on my way to 25K, and I'm hoping with a little help from you that we can make this happen, maybe even by the end of 2021. I would love for you to share my channel with 
your crafty friends, crafty family members, crafty neighbors, crafty co-workers, even just a random shopper in your local scrapbook or stamp store. You can let them know about my channel and if they're interested in subscribing, that will help me hit that 25K. Terry R. from Massachusetts used the November 2021 sheet load to create this Hello Winter card. I love the sparkle on those enamel embellishments and the clear and metallic snowflakes. Amy R. of Illinois sent in this example using October 2021. I love kind of the watercolor look of the background paper and her neat sentiment focal point. Rachel S. from Canada sent me this cute card with a nice note inside. She did mention that November was her birthday month, so let's all send her some birthday wishes. Happy belated birthday, Rachel! This next card came from Joyce M. of Iowa. She was actually one of the other attendees at Stamp Joy in Des Moines. And after we got back, some of us decided that we would like to have a mailing list to send out Just Because cards. And Joyce took on the workload of compiling that together and sending it out to everyone. Thank you so much, Joyce, for the cute card and for taking care of that list. Jessica N. of Florida has created this beautiful card. She has used the October 2021 sheet load and turned it on its side. I love that floral focal point. Christine W. of Georgia sent in this beautiful holiday card. I love everything about her focal point. Christine, if you see this, can you let me know where those dies are from and if those circles behind it were a die or something special you have? That just looks so neat together. Thank you. I am absolutely loving Vicki R. from Oklahoma's card, how she has paired up those more masculine pattern papers with the metallic gear die cuts. So awesome. Alma D. from Canada sent in this next envelope and it was chock full of goodness. Not only did she send in the gorgeous card using November 2021, which I love those stamped and die cut pieces behind the sentiment, but she also just wrote me the nicest letter and she has included a recipe for me. Now I'm not much of a baker, but I do like to turn on the oven in the winter to kind of make something yummy and warm up the house. Thank you, Alma. Rinda L. of Australia sent in this pretty card using November 2021. She has altered it to fit the pattern papers and card sizes they use. I love that sparkle with all of the metallic. Jane M. of Ohio used the October 2021 sheet load to create this fun Halloween card. And I especially like the sentiment on the inside, which reads, Creep It Real. Tamara S. from Idaho sent in five envelopes this month. And here is a look at the beautiful sheet load of cards example she has created. You might recognize some of these layouts from the past. And in the upper right, she has used some of my favorite clear cardstock bases. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin sent in two cards this month. On the left is using the October sketch, and on the right is using November. I love the sparkle and shine on both of these. Cheryl S. from Utah also sent in two cards. Both of hers use the November 2021 sheet load of cards. And the one on the left, that background snowflake pattern, is actually printed on some clear cardstock. You know I just love this. Two must have been the magic number this month. Sharon M. of Indiana also sent in two cards. The one on the right uses November 2021, and I'm loving that little penguin. And then the one on the left uses October of 2019, and it is a fun fold. She also sent in some coordinating envelopes. 
Karen C. of Virginia sent in four beautiful cards this month. The two on the left are kind of like sheet load rewinds. You have 2019 and then 2020. And the ones over on the right are the current November 2021. Now, if you haven't yet seen my rewind to November 2019, I will have that video linked in the description box below. Katie D of Canada sent in a trio of cards. On the left, she used the September 2021 layout for inspiration. And over on the right, she created two cards using November. Now they both kind of look the same from the front, but the one completely to the right has a little hidden fun fold on the inside. It is actually a tri-fold. I received two holiday cards this month from Christina M. of Illinois. On the left, she used October, and on the right, she used November. I'm loving that velvet ribbon behind the focal point on the left, and how she has added a strip of pattern paper or washi tape to the little sentiment strip on the November card. Lori K. of Minnesota sent in four beautiful examples using November 2021. Not only did she send in these gorgeous cards with so many cute details, but I also got a nice handwritten note. Rhonda W. of California has sent in a sheet load of cards. They use various layouts, and the one here in the top center, she has turned the October 2021 edition into a slimline card. Joan O. of Denmark also sent in a sheet load of lovely examples. Around the outside, they are all your standard November 2021 layout. And then toward the bottom center, that slim line, she was inspired by Toby or Biddy Penny's video for November 2021. If you haven't yet seen how she adjusted a 6x8 paper pad, I think it was, to create her cards this month, I hope you'll check out her channel. I wanted to take a minute and just give a special thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to send in a card or cards this month. I always love to go to my P.O. box and open it up and have something inside and seeing what you create and reading your notes really brightens my days. Thank you so much to everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the beautiful cards that came in my P.O. box this month. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.